No, I don't see any redness. All I see is boniness. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe Alden, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 500 posts on medical preparedness for any disaster. Also, I'm the co-author of the Survival Medicine Handbook. Now, this is America's favorite loudmouth bird, TD, and then, of course, we all know this guy. Now, as a physician, I have on occasion dealt with infected wounds from injuries or even after surgical procedures. In a survival setting, most wounds will be contaminated with debris, dirt, and bacteria. Therefore, anyone who will be medically responsible after a disaster may expect to deal with wound infections. The ability to recognize and treat infected injuries will be an important one to have in times of trouble. The human body is a miracle of engineering. Maybe not mine, but normally. Our immune system probably nips many infections in the bud, but a body under stress sometimes cannot effectively fight germs. This explains why certain people, such as diabetics and the elderly, are so prone to wound infections. Your skin is its own ecosystem with bacteria that naturally live there, such as Staph epidermidis. When the immune system fails to recognize and fight an infection, even normal skin bacteria can invade deep wounds and cause serious damage. Delays in healing and invasion into the circulation can lead to life-threatening conditions. To identify an infected wound, look for these signs. Redness around the edges, which spreads over time. Swelling around the wound, sometimes appearing shiny. Warmth in the area of the wound compared to other parts of the body. Pain out of proportion to the size of the wound. Drainage of foul fluid or pus from the wound. And lack of healing over time. Red swollen warm skin around the wound is called cellulitis. If the wound is deep enough, the bone and its marrow can actually become infected. We call that osteomyelitis. Once the bacteria invades the circulation, the entire body can be affected. We call this septicemia. Septic patients, or those with osteomyelitis, commonly have fevers to go along with the above listed signs and symptoms. Proper wound care and frequent dressing changes are the cornerstones to preventing wound infections. In the healing process, new cells fill in an open wound by a process called granulation. These new cells need a moist environment for rapid growth, and so any deep wound should have a sterile moist, but not soaking wet, bandage. We talk about this in more detail in our video on the open wound. The most common cause of serious wound infections is the bacteria Staph aureus. Although group A strep, pseudomonas, and various intestinal bacteria like E. coli are other microorganisms you might see. An especially troublesome form of Staph aureus is shown to be resistant to the usual antibiotics used. This is called methicillin-resistant Staph aureus, otherwise called MRSA. Once only seen in hospital-based infections, this resistant microorganisms is now seen in the general population. It's important not to let a wound infection become severe because these are difficult to cure without IV antibiotics, something that won't be available in a collapse. For mild to moderate infections, consider some of the following oral antibiotics. Bactrim, otherwise known as bird sulfa in veterinary form, clindamycin, fish sin in aquarium form, doxycycline, bird biotic, and cephalexin, fish flocks. To find out more about these and other antibiotics, as well as their indications and dosages, check out our series of articles at doomandbloom.net or check out a print or digital copy of the second edition of our book, The Survival Medicine Handbook, which goes into the subject in detail. There's more to prevention and treatment of wound infections that we're going to cover in future videos. This is Joe Walton, thanking you for watching and wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Having a tough time getting the whole family involved in the survival mindset? Check out our new board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, over at www.survivalboardgame.com. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.